हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स येट अनदर अमेजिंग वीडियो इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप सम स्पेशल मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड यू विल सी दैट आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू मल्टीप्लाई नंबर्स एज बिग एज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एटी फोर टाइम्स वन थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व टाइम्स नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन वर्चुअली इन ए सिंगल लाइन बट you got to watch the entire video and if you have not subscribed the channel till now click it now and subscribe the channel don't forget to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of all these amazing videos which i have been putting up specially for all of you so let's see the method in hand now this is single line multiplication the common base method you will find so many different videos based on this method but no video is complete so i am going to tell you everything about this common base method and you will see that when you start applying this method to different bases you will get different results and you will see the beauty of vedic mathematics so let's start with the application of the common base method to two and three digit numbers then you can generalize to four digit five digit six digit numbers also and even the common base which is not 100000 it can be 10000 or 100000 and so on so let's take the first case where i am going to take two numbers which are very near to the base 100 for that i am taking the first example as 94 times 97 see how i write it now this is how you need to represent it and just take the deviations these are very close to 100 right base 100 so 100 minus this 100 minus 94 is 6 and 100 minus 97 is 3 so you just have to multiply these numbers not the actual numbers so 6 3 times is 18 which, which is a two digit number and i need two digits here because the base 100 has two zeros okay if this was a single digit number you should prefix a zero and convert this to a two digit number now that is one catch in the method 6 3s are 18 so no worries here because we have two digits here and then you can subtract like this or subtract like this 94 minus 3 is 91 and 97 minus 6 is also 91 which gives us the remaining part of our, of our answer 9118 is the product of 94 and 97 now this is one of the easiest things to do and i think you will find that everywhere on youtube so the numbers which i took up both the numbers are less than the base that is less than 100 you can get the result when both numbers are more than 100 also suppose you have to do 106 times 109 so you will see the method still works 100 minus 106 is minus 6 100 minus 109 is minus 9 when you take the product here the product is going to be positive 9 times 6 is 54 and again it's a two digit number so when you subtract like this 106 minus minus 9 that will give you 115 and if you subtract like this 109 minus Minus six. That will also give you 115, and so 11554 becomes the product of 106 and 109. Now a slight problem comes when you have one number above the base and one number below the base. Now what do you have to do there? Just watch. Suppose you have to do 108 times 94. Okay. Now there is one small step which you need to add. 100 minus 108 is minus 8, and 100 minus 94 is 6. Now we find that the product of these two deviations is negative. So I'll write a minus 48 here, but this is not my final answer. Obviously, I cannot have a negative sign in between, right? Again, subtraction part is same. Either do 108 minus 6, or do 94 minus minus 8. you will have the same answer and that is 102 so i'll write a 102 here and i'll separate it using a slash because there is a minus sign now the borrowing method is going to work for us here you have to borrow one from 102 and remember when you borrow 
this will become 101 but this two digit number is going to get subtracted from 100 not 1 obviously 1 cannot uh, I cannot subtract minus 48 right from 1 so 100 minus 48 and that is 52 and so I get my answer 10152 so small variation learn that variation and I think two numbers near and base 100 is not going to trouble you okay so watch this be sure that you understand this now I am going to get into three numbers near the base 100 so base is going to remain 100 but now there will be three numbers and this is really important now what you are going to see is something special so I'll take very basic example first and then I'll take one example which is a little bit more complicated okay so let's take uh, small numbers like 101, 103 and 107. See, I have taken numbers which are all greater than the base. I have not take, taken numbers which are smaller than the base. This makes it easier for me. But in the next example, I am going to take mixed numbers where some of them will be more than the base and others will be less than the base. There, we need to understand the complexities of the question. Okay, so. How do we do it here? Now, first thing is we need, we need to understand the deviations. If you see, this is 1 more than 100. So, deviation is plus 1. This is 3 more than 100. So, plus 3. And this is 7 more than 100. So, plus 7. So, I have written the deviations. And all I need are these deviations to multiply these numbers. So, I need 3 different parts. So, I will uh, separate it using slashes like this okay now remember one thing whenever you know that here base is 100 and it contains two zeros in the second part i need two digits and in the third part also i need two digits right because the base is 100 first part it doesn't matter you may have as many digits uh, as you get now what is the first part the first part is the base 100 in this case plus the deviations 1, 3, 7 that is the first part the base plus the sum of the deviations the second part is the product of the deviations in pairs so like 1 times 3 plus 3 times 7 plus 1 times 7 see I am taking the product in pairs and then adding all of them and in the third part it is the product of the deviations 1, 3 and 7. Now I need to find these three numbers and I think these are very small numbers you can handle them very comfortably. So this is 11 so 111 for the first part, second part is 3 plus 21 plus 7 and third part is 7 3s are 21. So let us write the answer now. Here we have two digits. 21. Here you have 21 plus 10, 31, two digits again, so 31 and triple 1. Now pick up the calculators and check your answer. 101 times 103 times 107 is triple 1, 3, 1, 2, 1. Now likewise, you can actually extrapolate this and take little bit, uh, bit on the, you know, uh, sides which are, the numbers which are on the bigger side like 107, 111, 118 you will still get a correct answer but you will get 3 digits here now once you get 3 digits here retain the 2 digits and carry forward the first digit ok so that is one more thing you need to understand what happens when we get 3 digits here ok now let us take a number where there are mixed kind of questions uh, numbers 106 is the number which is above 100 94 is below 100 and let's take one more above 100 say 108 now what happens here is the deviations will be both positive and negative see this is 6 more than 100 so plus 6 this is 6 less than 100 so minus 6 this is 8 more than 100 so plus 8 right now i know the deviations and i am going to do the same thing now what comes after that is important so watch what will happen now so if i take the base which is 100 
and then add all the deviations plus 6 minus 6 plus 8 this will be my first part the second part is product in pairs so 6 times minus 6 plus minus 6 times 8 plus 6 times 8 see I have taken the product in pairs and then all three multiply together 6 times minus 6 times 8 I need these numbers now this plus 6 and minus 6 cancel out giving me 108 in the first part now the second part minus 36 minus 48 plus 48 and here we have negative and 36 times 8 that is what we need to do and that will be 8 and 24 plus 428 288 now the problem arises we have a negative number here and a negative number here so we will go for borrowing now whenever you have negative numbers you need to convert it into positive right so this number is less than 300 see 288 is less than 300 so what will i do i will borrow 3 from here and subtract this from 300 because the base is 100 so if i borrow 3 it will become 300 okay i hope you understand that step very important why i am borrowing 3 because this is 300 minus 288 will be positive if i borrow 1 100 minus 288 will still be negative right so you have to borrow an appropriate number from the middle number so what will happen 108 no problem if this minus 36 gives away 3 it will become minus 39 and then 300 minus 288 will be 12 now still we have a negative number so what do i need to do i'll just borrow 1 from here and subtract this from 100 so this will get converted to 107 because this gave away 1 and 100 minus 39 is 61 and finally the 12 so we have a two digit number here two digit number here and your answer is 1076112 and i hope that clarifies how we have to multiply three numbers near a common base now you can experiment you can take two numbers below the common base and one above and just try the method okay you should understand what should you do when you get negative numbers okay now let's move on to the next part where we have two numbers near the base 1000 i think this should work now and this should not be any problem so if i take 989 and 997 both numbers below the common base 1000 so i'll write the deviations 1000 minus 989 is 11 1000 minus 997 is 3 and so when i multiply these two i get 33 but since the base is 1000 and it contains three zeros so i need a three digit number here so i'll prefix a zero and then subtract like this or subtract like this you are going to get the same thing 989 minus 3 is 986 which gives you the answer for the question 986033 likewise if both the numbers are above the common base 1000 uh, say 1008 and 1013 right now follow the same method 1000 minus this is negative 8 1000 minus this is negative 13 and when you multiply 13 and 8 you will get 104 and that too in positive so 104 is already a three digit number common base 1000 so three digit number so that works and when you subtract like this you get 108 1008 rather minus minus 13 and that is 1021 right or you can subtract like this you will get the same result 1021 so write it here and you will have your answer 1021104 is the product now what happens when we have one number above and one below 1014 this is the number above the base and the other one is 992 let's take 992 which is below the base so let's take the deviations 1000 minus this is minus 14 and 1000 minus this is 8 when you multiply them now you are going to get a negative number and i told you 
when I took the base 100, what to do? Let's multiply them first, we'll get a negative number. 8, 4, 32, so 3 and 11. 112. And when I subtract like this or subtract like this, I will get the same number. And that number will be 1006. 1006. Now what to do with this negative number? Now that's where we need to be smart. Because the base is 1000, I will get, uh, borrow 1 from here. So this will become 1005. And the other part, this one, will get subtracted from 1000. So let's see what the answer we will get now. Here we will uh, we'll have a 3 digit number. That's what we want, right? So 1005 and 1000 minus this, you can apply all from 9 and last from 10. 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 1 is 8 and 10 minus 2 is 8. Yeah. So we have the number 1005888 which is the product of these two numbers. Now this is application of that method to the uh, numbers which are common, which uh, have a common base of 1000 and these are two numbers. Now the last part of the video will focus on three numbers near the base 1000. Now this is going to be something unusual and I told you in the beginning of the video that you will be able to crack a big question in a single line. So that's going to happen now. So let's see the fourth part. I'll take only one question for this. Let's do 1008 times 1004 times 1012. So we can solve this question now. The base method again. So how much is the deviation? So this is plus 8, 8 more than 1000. This is plus 4, 4 more than 1000. This is 12 more than 1000. Right? See, I am taking all the numbers above the base, but you can experiment. As I told you, if the deviations are negative, the method still works. You just need to know that borrow thing. Okay? So, what is the first part of our number? The base plus the deviations. So, these are the deviations. The second part is the product of the deviations in pairs and then adding them. So, this is what you need to do in the second part. And in the third part, 8, 4 and 12 have to be multiplied like this. Right? So what is this? 12 plus 8, 20, 24. So 1024, that's the first part. The second part, it is 32 plus 48 plus 96. And in the third part, this is 32 times 12. So 1024. And how much is this now? Uh, 8 and 6, 14, 15, 16, 6, 1 carry means 10, 14, 17, 176 in the middle and 12 twos are 24, so 4, 2 and 36 and 2, 38. So base is 1000, so 3 zeros, so I need 3 digits here and 3 digits here, solves my purpose, right? And your answer is there on the board, 1024. 176384. Such a big answer, and you will get that in virtually single line if you work out like this. Now, the challenge. So, I told you in the beginning, you will have to solve one problem. I'm giving you three numbers. Let's try 988, 1007, and 1011. And you will multiply these three using the same approach and let me know in the comments whether you got the correct answer using the deviation method here and uh, how much time did you take to multiply these three big numbers okay friends so do share this uh, lovely video with all your friends so that yeah they also feel comfortable with big multiplications very important for the railways and banking exams where a lot of simplification problems are given and you need to use smart methods to crack those problems and uh, if you have not clicked the subscribe button, you need to subscribe it now and click the bell shaped icon for getting the notifications of the channel. All the best for this particular question and wait for your comments and uh, do ensure that you practice a lot.